Hi everyone, welcome to researchmd.com. This is uh, Dr. Pramil. Uh, I work as a chief medical officer, also an associate professor of medicine in one of the large medical schools in the United States. So um, our plan is to continue our journey into the herbal medication and its complications. Again, we just wanted to make sure, um, you know, the purpose of this video is not to put the herbal medication down. We clearly know there is a lot of good benefits, okay? but a lot of people think when it comes to herbal medicine, it's safe. We want to take that, uh, uh, take that uh, thinking away and come with, uh, you know, what kind of complications you can, um, you can expect. Uh, most of the time, you will not develop complications, but rarely, or um, you know, sometimes um, it can happen. It's good to educate the patients and the physicians about the complications. Okay. So our topic today is um, black cohosh. Let's say what's what's the scientific name is Actea simsifuga resimosa, or is some you know sometimes it can also call Actea resimosa or simsifuga resimosa. Where does it found? Um, it's found in the United States and Canada, and um, Native Americans used to use for like a lot of gynecological conditions. Okay, now we will look at, you know, what content, what are the scientific components in this black cohort drug. You got terpene glycoside, alkaloids, flavonoids, and tannins. These are the ones mainly causing the effects uh, for this drug. Um, now, when you look at the, I mean, the effects, like uh, what do we people use it for? Mainly like a lot of gynecological conditions, like premenopausal symptoms, um, those are the main things people usually use. Um, again, you know, I mentioned the Native Americans use for all the gynecological conditions, even for like labor, uh, for inducing labor, they were using this drug. Okay. Now, uh, you know, we did a lot of literature search, you look at the scientific literature and find out what are the complications. The first study we looked at is the um, evidence-based systematic review published in the Journal of uh, Dietary Supplement. And so let's look at what are the complications um, they, I mean, they found in this study, okay? Um, now, when we talk about there's like the main thing, the first thing we always have to know about like what are the main complications you can expect is the liver uh, related complications, okay? There are, uh, there's one case report which we're going to mention earlier, uh, one patient end up in liver transplant. The other common is like allergic reaction. Um, the other thing is the gastrointestinal uh, complications. And then you can have a GI's, uh, yeah, gastrointestinal, when we talk about like nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, even like constipation, you can have hypotension or hypertension, you can have edema. Some people reported like heaviness of the leg, uh, dysphoria, and um, again, we mentioned the liver problem, and there was a report of a cutaneous pseudo lymphoma. All of these complications are kind of mentioned here: uh, bradycardia, um, arrhythmia, and all of those kind of noted. Okay. You can also have uh, uh, bleeding, um, vaginal bleeding. Um, there are some. I mean, it's a controversial kind of thing about the breast cancer, there's some report of breast cancer recurrence also. Next study we look at it is the European Journal of um, Euro European Journal of Medicine and they reported that again we talked about the liver function, allergic reaction and um, GI symptoms like diarrhea and all that. Okay. Uh, the next study we looked at it is the <coughs> uh, um, there was again we talked about the um, black cohosh and the herbal, I mean the complication of like breast cancer recurrence. So we went and uh, reviewed the literature, literature. There was like a meta-analysis done on the subject and did not show any benefit. I mean, did not show um, any, I mean, there was some concerns again about the uh, breast cancer. Is there a breast cancer recurrence or something? So in this study, we, you know, there are some concerns about breast cancer recurrence. And then uh, the other concern we talked about is the liver. 
So uh, we did uh, we did like a meta analysis, and um, again, since the breast cancer occurrence is like I mean you know since breast cancer is very high in the United States, you know some people may be taken. So we went and looked at some meta analysis, and in this meta analysis there was no evidence uh, was found regarding the breast recurrence. That's also good news. Next study we looked at, I mean, you know, again, going back to breast cancer, there are some studies done in the rats. Uh, it, can, it, it did cause breast cancer recurrence in the, um, in the rats. The reason for that, it, the black cohorts have like two main properties. One is like it increased the estrogen level. That is why they use the premenopausal um, symptoms to treat premenopausal symptoms. can also increase the dopamine effect. So again, um, in the area of breast cancer, I would caution people like not to take it because the the evidence is not very clear if you have like estrogen sensitive like um, cancer it can affect so why take a chance so just be careful okay or check with your doctor um, so the next there was like you know we went to the case report case reports kind of um, usually report the unusual causes but again it's not un unusual we got like a 59 year old patient increased liver and sam increased uh, i mean um, end up in the liver failure again you know we talked about the liver toxicity one of the major um, you know the toxicity you can expect from um, taking this drug Again, next is another case report, a 51-year-old who went into liver failure, ascites and uh, biopsy showed hepatocellular uh, necrosis. The next case report is about, um, you know, it's an orobuccal lingual dyskinesia. This patient started having speech difficulties and then tongue biting and um, eating difficulties. I think, uh, you know, we talked about the dopaminergic, dopaminergic increased dopamine level by black cohorts. That probably, you know, contributed to that problem. Um, next case report about a uh, 58 year old uh, develop hematological complications, pancytopenia we call that means decrease the blood count, um, decrease CBC, WBC and the platelets. Um, next case report is a 60 year old uh, patient um, had uh, liver failure and end up in a liver transplantation situation. Very, very serious <clears throat> condition, okay? Um, next case report we looked at is the um, another patient um, started with the headache and developed posterior reversible encephalopathy um, and the patient ended up having subarachnoid hemorrhage and the bleeding in the brain. Um, now another case report, um, again we talk about the cardiovascular complications, you can have bradycardia, this patient came with the, like bradycardia symptoms, okay. Um, overall when we look at black cohorts, please make sure to go those lists we mentioned and all this complication, be careful, I mean I think it's very important to monitor your liver function test, so um, this is the most common complication people can expect. So I would recommend if you're taking the drug, frequently check the liver function test. In the area of breast cancer, it's still not very clear. There's a meta-analysis did not show any benefit, did not show any um, complications of increased breast cancer recurrence, but it can cause increased estrogen. You know, some of the breast cancers are like uh, hormonal receptive, so why take a chance? Just be careful, or check with the doctor, and I would recommend against taking the drug at this point if you have like breast cancer. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please, please subscribe to our channels. Very, very important to get all of your support so we can educate the patients and the families and the doctors about the important side effects of um, herbal medication. Without your support, it will not be possible. So please subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much. Have a blessed day.